Semi-truck electrification was once disregarded by skeptics as being impossible. That's a result of its weight's inherent engineering issues and battery-related difficulties. But believe it or not, some progress has been made by well-known automakers. In fact, it's possible that you pass an electric semi-truck on the highway without even realizing it. Today, we're going to look at both currently operating and upcoming electric semi-trucks and if Tesla really has the capacity to achieve its target this December 2022 for the semis. Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla, is promoting the upcoming Class 8 all-electric truck on Twitter as the first deliveries of Tesla Semi approach. According to Musk's most recent post, it seems that the semi is unquestionably prepared to serve its customers because the Tesla team recently finished a 500-mile trip with an 81,000-pound vehicle. On Twitter, supporters of electric vehicles enthusiastically shared their admiration for Musk's achievement. The Tesla Semi, after all, is not just one of the company's most delayed products, it is also one of the ones that received the most doubt. This past October 13, 2022, French car maker Renault posted its 32nd ad mocking a Tesla Semi truck. The ad opens a man putting a poster. As opera music plays in the background, the man steps back. The poster is an advertisement for the Tesla Semi truck and it reads, Fully Electric Semi, The Future of Trucking. As a man gets into his truck, bolded words appear on the screen that says, There are those that make grand announcements and those that are already making kilometers. And you see that the man and his co-worker are actually driving an electric Renault truck away. And then you see the words, 100% Electric Renault Trucks E-Tech, Over 300 electric vehicles are already on our roads. Well, Renault wasn't subtle, that much is certain. The advertisement may have been humorous and lighthearted, but the point is still made. With a Renault Trucks e tech Master, Renault released a sizable, entirely electric semi truck before Tesla, whose electric semi truck is still nowhere to be seen. What about Tesla then? A Tesla Semi Class 8 electric truck was first unveiled by the company in 2017. Tesla predicted that production would start in 2019 at that time. Without a single Tesla Semi truck being produced, 2019 came and went. Time travel to 2020, Elon Musk sent an email to Tesla employees informing them the semi-truck was already in limited production. He continued by saying that it was finally time to go all out and start mass producing the Tesla Semi. But in April, during an earnings call, Tesla revealed that the delivery of the semi-truck would be now put off until 2021, a mere few months later. 2021 thus came out and went. Tesla disclosed to its shareholders in a subsequent earnings call that the delivery of its Tesla Semi Class 8 electric truck would be postponed until 2022. Following the semi unveiling, Daimler Truck AJ Chairman of the Board of Management Martin Dom made the infamous remark that Tesla's Class A truck and its intended specification were in violation of the laws of physics. If Tesla really fulfills this promise, we will undoubtedly purchase two trucks, one to disassemble and one to test because if that occurs, something has already gotten away from us. However, for now, both Germany and California are subject to the same set of physical laws, said Dumb. During the Q3 2022 earnings call, Elon Musk and Chief Financial Officer CFO Zachary Kickhorn made it a point to emphasize that Tesla Semi 500-mile range only applies to the truck when it's loaded with cargo, acknowledging these concerns. Musk added that anticipate Tesla to aim for a North American production rate of 50,000 units annually in 2024. If Tesla is a success, the electric vehicle manufacturer will rank among the biggest producers of Class A trucks in the US. If you're wondering why Tesla has experienced a string of delays, Tesla claimed the most recent delay was due to global supply chain shortage that has been affecting the high-tech and automotive industries. It also attributed the ongoing delays to the era's constrained capacity for producing vehicle battery cells. Now that 2022 is almost over, 2023 is rapidly approaching. Elon Musk only recently provided some fresh, intriguing information regarding the semi class 8 electric truck in August. This time, it was information regarding the release itself. Musk revealed that the electric semi truck was currently in early production in Reno, Nevada and was no longer just a concept. Musk included a delivery date as well. A semi class 8 electric will be delivered to Pepsi for the first time this December. Let's go back in time to 2017. The Tesla semi class 8 electric truck prototype was made public at that time. As a result of its favorable impression, PepsiCo ordered 100 electric semi trucks for its fleet. Originally, 15 of the 100 trucks were intended to help turn Pepsi's Freedom Facility in Modesto, California into a zero-emission facility that's doing its part to fulfill Pepsi's pledge to achieve net zero emissions by 2040. 
In any case, PepsiCo didn't receive the electric semi truck it had hoped for the previous year. By the way, orders were also placed by the UPS, Walmart, and Cisco, but there have been no updates or announcement regarding any of these deliveries to date. Elon Musk says that Tesla will need another year to really ramp up production of the semi truck. It doesn't, however, follow that production will be sluggish. If Tesla meets its target, it will become the second largest producer of Class A trucks in the US with an annual production rate of 500 units in North America. Daimler Trucks is in the first place. In 2019, Daimler Truck produced about 100,000 of these vehicles. Following COVID-19 lockdowns and supply shortages, that number dropped to 71,000 in 2020. Nevertheless, that still exceeds Tesla's intended production of 500 units. Analysts anticipate Tesla to deliver a modified version of a semi-truck to comply with local requirements for international markets. That's not all either. According to some experts, Tesla may even construct a brand new EV truck factory in Europe or Asia. Tesla originally intended electric semi trucks they have a 500-mile maximum range. Furthermore, transporting a load with high range is no easy task, especially if you're a big truck with a gross combined weight of 82,000 pounds when fully loaded. Following the release of the first model, Tesla declared that it would also make a 300-mile range model with a smaller battery pack. But as of right now, there's still no news on the actual battery capacity of the truck. However, many anticipated battery pack capacity may actually be lower than 1,000 kWh. So, if Tesla manages to produce 500 semi-trucks annually as planned, 50 gigawatt hours of energy will be required. If and when it occurs, the semi-truck alone will completely take over the Gigafactory in Nevada's capacity to produce batteries. Must also disclose that the initial builds do not include cylindrical battery cells of Type 4680. Given that situation, cylindrical battery cells of the 2170 type would be the next sensible choice. The majority of the current Model 3 and Model Y production models use the same cells. According to some estimates, the Class A Tesla truck batteries could use as little as 2 kilowatt hours per mile. Its battery capacity is anticipated to range from 600 to 1000 kilowatt hours. The truck should accelerate from 0 to 60 miles in 20 seconds when fully loaded. It is said to have three independent motors mounted on the rear axles. Last but not the least, according to analysts, a semi-truck could save up $200,000 in fuel over the course of three years by charging up to 70% of its range in just 30 minutes. These are all speculations, of course. The truck's purchase price is yet another unknown. It makes sense that Elon Musk would claim that it would sell for significantly more than a passenger car. Undoubtedly, semi-trucks won't be inexpensive. Some predict that semi-trailers will start at $150,000 each. In actuality, the market for electric semi-truck is expanding. One motivating factor is the high annual fuel cost that product and transportation companies incur for each truck, which can reach $80,000. So you can see why so many businesses are drawn to the idea of going electric. The electric trucking industry seeks to significantly reduce both the cost and emissions of freight transportation. In fact, you might have passed an electric semi on the highway without even realizing it. For instance, consider freight liner trucks. Actually, it belongs to the Daimler Trucks North America brand as a division. Additionally, back in October, just three days after Tesla released its most recent semi-truck update, BYD declared that it had already shipped the first five examples of its new electric semi-truck, the Q3MA. The Q3MA reduces carbon emissions by 33,000 tons annually and has a curb weight of 12 tons and a maximum allowable total fraction mass of 35 tons. Before we give you more comparison to Tesla and its semi-truck, please give a thumbs up if you're enjoying this video so far. And keep on watching until the very end because we will reveal a new obstacle for semi-truck production. Then there's startup called Nikola. It was established in 2014 and it boasts a 350-mile range for its electric semi-truck. The name of Nikola semi-truck is TRE. Nikola claimed that TRE is the first electric-borne modular platform for articulated heavy-duty tractors in September last year. In this first generation, it has a fuel cell electric range of 497 miles and a battery range of up to 310 miles. The delivery is scheduled for this year, 2022. Take a look at Sono Motors, a German startup though. It has been reaching commercial vehicle application for a solar power technology in addition to the solar assist electric car. Sono presented some of the plans at a recent transportation exhibition in Hanover, Germany. For instance, Sono asserts that its solar technology may help refrigerated buses and trucks operate more efficiently. If you're wondering how it plans to do that, it intends to sell a kit that will allow existing buses to be retrofitted with solar panels. The engine and solar panels would, in fact, work together as a team. I mean, a diesel engine would still provide propulsion for the truck and solar power would power systems like climate control. But not all buses and trucks are compatible with a Sono kit. Not bad, at least. 
Currently, only the Mercedes-Benz Citaro and Man Lion City Public Transportation buses are compatible with Sonos kits because they are most well liked in Europe, that is. According to Sono, the 1.4 kilowatt peak power of its solar panels could help these buses and trucks save as much 396 gallons of diesel annually once they are retrofitted with a kit. A return on investment should be visible to all owners, according to Sono, in 3 to 4 years. Everything is dependent on fuel costs and other relevant variables. Just adding Sono solar panels to a trailer roofs and sides, according to Sono, the annual need for refrigeration units could be as much as 50% covered. According to reports, solar panels have a range of 152 miles per week. Electric semis won't be able to overtake vintage diesel trucks for quite some time. It's because these BMS present their own special set of technological difficulties. The electric semi sticker prices isn't cheap to start. Infrastructure such as electrical grids and charging stations is also necessary. Many fleets today aren't interested due to the high initial cost. Furthermore, few people are currently willing to act as guinea pigs or early adopters of new technologies. At the moment, last mile and short distance deliveries are the main application for electric semi-trucks. This is due to the fact that in the US, the infrastructure needed for a charging station is still lacking. However, Tesla has also been attempting to address that issue. Putting in a mega charging station for semi-truck is one example. Even though it was just one, that was Modesto's facility last year. Here's a new obstacle. Heavy-duty truck class 8 including semi-trucks. The Federal Highway Administration sets an upper limit 80,000 pounds for gross vehicle weight, and that includes the truck's weight as well as the payload. But keep in mind that the payload is the real price. The typical semi already weighs 34,000 pounds when empty. That doesn't give automakers a lot of room to maneuver. Therefore, automakers need to be careful to not add unnecessary weight to the electric semi-truck. If not, the payload weight must decrease, which is something that no one wants. The weight can be made or broken by the battery pack. The pack is not big enough. Tesla asserted that its semi-truck will have a gross combination weight of 82,000 pounds when it's fully loaded, which is a delicate balancing act. It will still have room to spare and achieve the required balance if that is the case. Electrifying the semi-truck sector has advantages. Of course, emissions have been drastically reduced. Additionally, increasing the number of fully electric semi-trucks on the road could lower the cost of operations per mile or the expenses associated with transportation. Additionally, if it were possible, it would have an impact on the cost of almost all goods that are transported by trucks. But now tell me, do you concur the Renault's advertisement regarding Tesla? Please join the community and leave your comment below. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I am Jules. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. Did you know that even though there are production delays for Tesla's vehicles, Cathy Wood still trusts and buys Tesla stocks? Want to know why? Click and watch the next video here.